Sacramento returns to the races at Caulfield for us on Saturday in, in the Easter Cup over, over 2,000 metres. A uh, unfortunate race below par for us at his last start. Uh, since then, he's had a, had a nice freshen up, and I'm hoping that the time between runs and the drop back to 2,000 metres just allows him to uh, return to form um, because no doubt that, that run in the Canberra Cup where he, where he won um, with authority was was certainly a, a, a performance that's capable of winning a, a race like this. So um, he, he certainly seems to have bounced back. He's well in himself. Uh, he's had a great lead up this week in, in preparation for this race. So I expect him to be able to bounce back to his form for us. In the Congo and Shout the Bar, uh, take on the, the Group 1 All Age Stakes for us here in, in Sydney. Um, looking forward to seeing Shout the Bar back at the races. Uh, she was excellent last start at uh, Mooney Valley. Uh, she, she won uh, in, in really dominant fashion uh, and she looked, uh, looked a happy mare doing so. Um, she was able to get the right conditions to suit on that occasion and hoping to be able to get those for her on, on Saturday. Uh, we, need a, we need a drying track for her to be at her best. Uh, if we can get into the soft ranges where she's won a Group 1 previously, um, that will certainly help her. Uh, the drop back to 1,400 metres is, is not necessarily ideal for her from the mile, but uh, she, she is capable of doing it. We've kept her nice and fresh, uh, kept that speed in her legs, uh, so that time between runs will, will help with that drop back to 1,400 metres. Uh, in the Congos, on the backup for us, I thought he was excellent in defeat uh, in, in his last two runs. Uh, first up in the Galaxy, he couldn't have been more brave uh, with, a, with a brilliant on-speed performance under the handicap conditions, uh, dropping back to the three-year-old grade in the Arrowfield Stakes there last start. He, he fought on fought on very well, uh, and I think he'll be, as I said, suited by the backup, stepping up to the 1,400 metres here, and uh, I think he's come through that race in, in great shape and uh, will certainly take some beating. So Lady Luck and O'Tilly both contest the uh, JHB car stakes for us, a three-year-old uh, race for the, for the Phillies. Uh, both coming through very similar form lines in uh, in easier grade uh, through through the country and provincial uh, races, and have both been performing uh, very very well. Uh, Otilly's uh, undefeated this campaign, and uh, certainly looks to be a nice improving type. She's versatile in all the conditions, uh, so should handle a, a heavy track if if that's what we're throwing on 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 Saturday. Uh, as a lady luck, uh, similarly, she's shown good improvement. She just needed a, a certain level of racing to get her fitness uh, right up to her peak and, and she looks to be that for, for Saturday. So um, no doubt she's uh, an, an improving type and um, both horses will, will have to be at their best, uh, but certainly deserve a, a, a crack at this stakes class for them. Uh, Takamuchi is returning to the races in a, uh, in a benchmark handicap over the 1400 metres. Uh, he's been off the scene for, for quite some time. Uh, he usually does take a, a bit of racing for him to, to, to really reach his, his peak fitness. Uh, and no doubt the 1400 metres is uh, a, a distance well short of his best. Uh, so looking to see some good improvement off, off that run. Uh, no doubt, look, he does perform, perform well fresh, but uh, certainly gonna, uh, gonna have to see the ideal conditions before we can see him getting back to the to the winner's stall. Uh, so I think once we can see him up in trip, we'll, we'll see him much better placed. Uh, in saying that, he, he does excel in the in the heavy conditions. Uh, so I enjoy getting his toe in on, on Saturday, but you can uh, uh, no doubt whatever he does on, on Saturday, he'll, he'll continue to improve throughout his preparation.